Assalamu alaikum. I am Namita, a kindergarten teacher by profession. First of all, let me congratulate you for all your commendable work in spreading the message of peace, love and brotherhood. I want to ask you, Brother Nayak, if Quran is the God's word, if Islam is truly the way of life, then why are people taking so long in realizing and accepting it? Sister, that's a very good question. Quran is the word of God. Islam is the religion. Why are people taking so long in accepting it? Sister, the straight path is not always easy to follow. Your perception differs. The perception of each individual differs. For example, a person who may not be following Islam, oh, if I accept Islam, he may be an alcoholic. I'll have to stop having alcohol. I may have to stop going out with girls and dating. So then that will prevent him. So what he thinks, okay, fine, Islam may be good, but I don't want to stop my alcohol. I don't want to stop going out flirting with girls. I don't want to stop having pork. So when you learn, there may be certain hitches that may come. Maybe a person may not be alcoholic. Maybe he may not be having pork, but he may think, okay, now I accept Islam. That means for 40 years I was a fool. Oh, I better not accept Islam. Some may think, if I accept Islam, what will my friend say? What will my mother say? What will my father say? So all these obstacles, sister. Only if you can overcome these obstacles, can you accept the truth. So therefore, what you have to realize, that the message is clear. The message is logical. It's absolutely clear. But there are other things which are there in the baggage. A person has to be so strong that, fine, if this is the truth, I'm ready to accept the truth, even if I have to leave my other non-Muslim friends. And believe me, sister, this is only a perception. And many non-Muslims who have accepted Islam, and yet they've got their old friends. And people tell me, oh, Zakir, don't speak to non-Muslims, you lose the friendship. I've got very good non-Muslim friends also. Mashallah, they respect me. You have appreciated me. Mashallah, you're a non-Muslim. So my job is to present the truth. And one more thing, Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 256, like Rafid Deen, there's no compulsion religion, Truth stands out clear from error. Our job is still to present the truth. Whether a person accepts it or not, it depends upon him. If Almighty God wanted everyone to accept, it's very easy. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99. If he wanted, he could have made all the human beings believers. Very easy. Kun fayakun, very easy. But where is the test? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Allah khalaqal mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life sister is a test for the hereafter. Now when a person realizes the truth, everything you realize the truth you don't follow. You may follow 80%, you may follow 50%. There are very few people who follow 100%. Even all the Muslims don't follow 100%. Some Muslims may have bad habit, yet... They are Muslim. So what have realized, sister, the major points of oneness of God and believing in the last and final messenger and believing in the hereafter, these two, three points are the most important, sister. And that's the same thing I'll tell you, sister. You ask me the question, I'll ask you the same question. Then what is taking you so much time to accept the truth, sister? Dr. Zakir Naik, I would just like to tell you something that here, with your blessings, I accept Islam and repeat the kalma. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulallah. MashaAllah, sister, may Allah, may Allah bless you. And may Allah come to Jannah, inshaAllah. And welcome you, sister. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and come to Jannah. Ameen. I'm coming from two different cultures. So I'm half Filipino and half Indian. Now, um, my good friend, she brought me here. I believe everything about Islam. I have 
no other doubts, but I just want you to help me out how. I mean, I'm not really sure what's really stopping me. So, like, I just want to ask you if you can help me out. Sure, sister. You can go ahead with the question. What is the doubt? And that's the, that's the doubt. I don't know what's really stopping me. No, you are saying that you have read Islam <laughs> and you agree with Islam, but there's something that is a doubt. Yeah, there's something that's stopping me, but I just don't know. I just really don't know. Sister, has the question that there's something that is stopping me, but I don't know what's stopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sister, if you don't know what's stopping, so let that don't know. So just, you forget about that, and you take a step forward. Okay. Sister, do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe that idol worship is prohibited? I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus is not God? Yes, I do believe. You do believe that he's not God? I do believe he is not a God. But, but he's a messenger he's, of God? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes, I do. Sister, these two things that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah is sufficient for you to enter the school. When someone is entering the school, he need not be a graduate. He knows the basics, he enters the school and then he learns more. So my request to you would be that if you believe that there is no God but Allah and you believe that idol worship is prohibited, you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, you go ahead and inshallah God will guide you further and inshallah you'll be a more practicing Muslim. Okay. So do you want to accept Islam, sister? I think I should. Why not? Is there anyone forcing you? No. Nobody is forcing me. Are you doing all of your own free will? Yes, sir. So inshallah I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God but Allah. There is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger and servant of Allah. Is, is the, the messenger, messenger and servant of Allah. MashaAllah, you have become Muslim. <laughs> I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you further and to remove any obstacle. And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to write an email at zakir at irf.net. And inshallah, inshallah, we'll try and reply to your queries if there's any further. Inshallah. Thank you.